Stay nice and light on the toes. Okay, we're gonna go into some high kicks, opposite foot to the opposite leg. Make sure you feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Okay, now we're gonna go into these. You're gonna grab your foot, do a little hop. Grab the foot, do a little hop. There we go. And we'll into some gate openers. Up and out. Now we're going to go out and in. Okay, now we're going to go into some leg swings side to side. Side to side. And switching sides. Try and swing that leg up as high as you can. Okay, now we're gonna go into some hip rotations. And switch directions. Go into some twists. We're not really going to warm up the upper body because we're just focusing on lower body today. So now, feet together, knee rotations. And switch directions. Okay, and then we're going to do ankles. So the reason why we're working on leg day is because I know the main goal is to really get, let's switch legs. The main goal is to get our upper body, building a little more, more muscle in the upper body, but we want to do our lower body because it's going to increase our growth hormones, our testosterone levels, and basically that's going to help us build a lot more muscle on the top. Right, so our legs are literally the powerhouse of our body. So we're going to start with our squats. Um, from what I've seen within with the previous session, your squats do look pretty good. So what we're going to just do is start with 20 reps of body weight squats, okay, without any weights. So we're going to do 20 reps just to kind of warm up. So remember, I have my feet pointing forward. My, uh, my, sh sorry, my feet are shoulder width apart. Going to lead with the hips, coming down with the hips, up, squeeze the glutes. Okay, we're gonna do 20 reps together. Ready, three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sean, try to go a little bit lower. Thirteen. Good. Fourteen. Fifteen. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Looks like some good squats. So now we're going to go into sit-ups. So supersetting squats and sit-ups. We're going to do regular sit-ups. Okay. So I'm laying on the ground, feet where I can touch them. When I come up, I can, you can either just do this motion or you can do these. Okay. These will work on the side a little bit more. So if you feel like normal sit-ups are too easy, then you want to go into this one. Okay. So let's do... Okay. 16. Right, so make sure you're coming all the way up. Make sure you're coming all the way up. Okay, do 16. After you're done 16, then we're going to go right back into our squats. Yeah, there you go. So like, so you like, um, so you like sit down and do that, or while you're doing it, you know what I mean? What I mean? So I'm coming up, boom. I'm here in this position, boom, boom, down. Up. You see, I'm using my elbows, touching my knees. Oh, I see. Okay. Boom. There you go. Yeah, try to have your hands on your head, right? Because then there's uh, more rotation if you do that. <laughs> do 16, okay? After you're done 16, then you can take a break. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now what you're going to do is grab some weights, right? Just grab uh, each person has two dumbbells, and then we're going to do weighted squats. Try going maybe 15 pounds on each side, something like that. Sean, do you still have your resistance bands? Mm -hmm. uh, no way. Do you still have your resistance bands? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to grab those. And then what you're gonna do, instead of carrying the weights, is step on the resistance band, pull them up here like this, and then do squats. Okay, so. Two ways you can do this, Alex and Tom. Um, it depends on which one you find is a little bit easier for you. Oh, yeah. Do squats. So you can either have your dumbbells on the side, do squats this way, or you can either have your dumbbell up here and do squats. So it depends on which one you feel is more comfortable. But what we're gonna try and do is 10 squats. Okay, 10 really good squats. So start whenever you're ready. Remember to breathe out as you come up. Okay, so I do this. Like, yeah, yeah. So basically, you want to flip that band over like this. So you're holding it like that. So the band on the outside of your elbows. Yeah. Uh, nice, good. Uh, Only 10. You, you feel like you could do more? Yeah. Okay, I would suggest uh, a, um, increasing your weight. Yeah, sure. Okay, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, uh, let's go back into our sit-ups first. Okay, let's go back into our sit-ups first. 
do 16 reps. After 16 reps, we'll come back to the squats. Okay. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Awesome, guys. Make sure you're really sticking those heels on the ground there. Good job, Sean. So Alex, remember you're not just moving your arms, try and move that whole upper body to do the rotation. Right, that way you actually get those side abs working. Sean, you can go right back into your squats. Good. Tom, make sure your, your feet is on the ground. Right, your feet, you want to make sure your feet's pointed on the ground. Yeah, exactly. There you go. So Sean is not it's not super comfortable, but uh, you'll get you that you definitely get used to it. So stepping shoulder width apart with the feet, bend up here, and you're gonna do squats just like that. Like that. How's that feel? Uh, it's a bit too much. Check yeah, out. I would uh, take one off. Oh no, they froze out again. Oh, they're back. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of squats and then one more set of uh, one more set of sit-ups. Okay, make sure you're doing 10 really good reps. Sean, remember to go nice and deep, okay? You wanna make sure your legs at the bottom motion here is 90 degrees. Keep your back nice and straight. Squeeze right. the glutes. Remember to breathe out when you come up. Drive that weight through the heels. Good. So the so the feet point point forward, right? Feet points forward. Okay. Once you've done your uh, reps for the squats, let's go right back into your sit-ups. Good. Lead with the hips. So hips come out first. Hips come out first. There you go. Perfect. Looks good, guys. Exactly, good, good. Now, at the top, make sure you're really squeezing and contracting the glutes, okay? Awesome, let's go right back into the sit-up. Last set of sit-ups. We're gonna move on to our next set of exercises after this. Sixteen setups, sixteen setups.
There you go. Good. Sean, Sean, keep those feet on the ground. Try your best. You're almost there, man. You're almost there. Six more, six more. Okay, let me know when you've, you're, you're done your set, and then we're going to go through our next set of exercises. Good job, Sean. Make sure we're getting those abs burning. Nice. There you go. That's what we want. That's what we want. You guys finish your uh, set, Alex? Yeah, three in total, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're going to go into our next exercise, which is the lunge. So first set, we're not going to use any weights. Second set, we will start using weights. So what we're going to do is getting into my lunge position. Now, when I come down again, making sure that both legs are 90 degrees. Very importantly, making sure I'm not leaning forward. I'm not leaning back. Posture is nice and straight. Chest is tall. Shoulders are pulled back, okay? Really, always remember that. Now, I'm going to come straight up. Extend both legs down, up, down, up. Okay, just like this. Just like this. You're gonna do 12 reps on each side. 12 reps on each side. Okay, whenever you're ready, just go at your own pace. Breathe out as you come up. I just have a question for the back. Uh, for the for the back feet, is a is your feet also pointing forward or is it be sideward? Your back like, leg. Like we do it. Did you like go this way or this way? Has to be pointed forward. Okay. Okay. Nice job, Sean. Sean, you see how your front knee is kind of going past the toes? I want you to make sure you're pushing that back knee or your front knee back a little bit so you're, it's not going past the toes. There you go. Perfect. Now, if you guys feel like you're having a little bit of hard time with the balance, one thing, good thing you can do is spread the legs wider apart. You'll have more balance. Exactly. Nice. Good. 12 on each side. 12 on each side. Okay. okay, so our next exercise, Alex, you can just finish up your reps. Basically, in the next exercise, we're going to be doing leg lifts. Okay, so we've done this in the other class before. Laying on the ground, what I want to do is keep my legs fairly straight. You can either have your hands beside the body or under the butt. It will be easier under the butt. So we're going to lift the leg up down you don't want it to touch the ground then you're going to come back up just like that okay we're going to do 12 of these okay 12 of these remember to breathe out as you come up there you go good nice and slow And we're doing uh, leg lifts, Alex, if you didn't. Yeah, do you mind just do one more time because it just cut down, sorry. That's okay, man. So basically laying on my back, leg nice and straight. You're going to come up, down. Your feet's not going to touch the ground, but you're going to come right back up. You can either have your hands beside your body or under the butt. Under the butt will be a little bit easier. Okay, nice All and right. slow. You're going to do 12 reps. <laughs> Okay, Sean, you can take a little break. 
we're going to wait for them to finish up their reps and then we'll go um, right back into it. Yeah, okay. okay, how's that feel? Uh, is that for legs or for the stomach? For the stomach. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay you feel it in the legs or no? No, no, no. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back into our lunges. This time we're going to use weights. So grabbing your two dumbbells, right? You're going to hang it right here, and then you're just going to do your lunges like this. Again, making sure your posture is nice and tall. 12 reps on each side. Um, for Sean, just keep doing your body weight ones, but try and do 20 reps this time, 20 reps on each leg. Okay. Good. Keep your chest out, keep your chest out, shoulders back. Nice. Nice. So again, Sean, not leaning forward. Make sure your posture is nice and tall. Okay. Good stuff. There you go. There you go. Good. Remember to breathe, remember to breathe. Good. So now you're gonna go right back into your leg lifts. Like once you're done your lunges, we're gonna go back into the leg lifts. Leg lifts again, you're gonna do 12 reps. If you can do 15, do 15. Oh, there you go. Good. You almost done your reps, Sean? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, keep it up. You got it. Okay, so we're just going to take a 30, 30 to 40 second break, kind of let uh, Sean finish his reps, um, and then we can just let our muscles reset really quickly here. Was that three sets already or is that two sets? I think two sets. Yeah, okay. Let's try doing another set now then. Okay, one more set. Start now? Yep. Starting now. Nice job, guys. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, back, back into the lunges.
If you lose again, if you're losing a little bit of balance, what can help is like stepping a little bit wider, stepping a little bit wider. A little bit wider more. So I don't mean like front and back wider. I mean from this position. If you want more stability, you can actually step out more, like here. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Last set of uh, leg lifts. Last set of leg lifts. Yeah. Oh. Twelve, right? Yep. If you can do more, um, mm -hmm. try to aim for fifteen to sixteen. I just have a question. When you do, when you do this, sorry. When, I mean, when you do this position, when you're going up, is your leg like going straight or curly? Um, it shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't matter too much. It, it will be easier if your leg is bent. So okay. You usually want to keep your leg straight. Okay, got it. I want to keep your legs straight. If you can feel it, then it's 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 whatever. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's grab. If you want to grab some water really quickly, I'll show you the next exercise. Okay, so we're gonna do um, deadlifts now. Okay, so deadlift we've done uh, in the first, in our first session. We actually wanna try and go super heavy for this one, okay? So you can either use one dumbbell or two dumbbells. If you're using one dumbbell, you would hold it like this. Um, but what you wanna do is make sure your shoulders are pulled back and then we're basically gonna hinge with the hips. So I'm gonna, my hips are gonna come down I'm sticking the bum out, keeping my back straight. And notice how I'm not bending my knee too much. And also notice how my chest is out. So you're going to do this, come up, squeeze, up, squeeze. Now, yeah, when you come up, make sure you're really squeezing the bum. Okay? It's really squeezing. Sean? Mm -hmm. So you can do these with the resistance bands. Okay. But you're going to stand a little bit, uh, you're going to basically stand towards the end of the resistance band like this, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you'll do from this position is stand up, squeeze the glutes. So exactly what you would do with the dumbbell, just with bands. Okay. Make sure you're, like, your shoulders are really pulled back, right? Like really squeeze that back muscle. Uh, do you want to do one more demo? I, I don't quite get it. Sorry? I don't quite get it. Do you mind just show me a little bit more? Yeah, and, and that's okay because um, this is a very complex and advanced exercise. So it takes a while to get hang up. Basically, okay, so, keep the shoulders back. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to hinge the hips. So hips come, come out, hips come back. Right? And then you're keeping your back straight, just like that, and up, squeeze. There you go. Up, squeeze the glutes. Make sure Tom's back is nice and straight. Still a little bit around. 
Sorry? It looks crap. You, your, your back is straight. Yeah, your back is nice. Your form looks pretty good. But I don't quite spell the... Where is the part is training? You're, you're training everything from your traps all the way down to the calves. You should feel it most, most in the hamstrings and glutes. Okay. So you should feel a stretch right in the back of the leg. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I've got it. Yeah. Nice. So I'll move you guys on to our next exercise, which is Russian twists. You're going to be sitting on the ground like this. You want to lift your feet off the ground. Okay. Now, make sure because what happens is if you're sitting too far forward, you're going to use a lot of lower back. So you want to sit, lean back a little bit. Okay. And then do your Russian twists. Now, if you want, you can hold on to a weight and then do it with the weight. Okay, try and do 20. Okay, do 20 really good ones. Just like that. Just so is your feet on the ground or no? Feet's not on the ground. But how, but the, but how can you like uh, maintain that position? I always like just more down. Yeah, so it's all core power. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Okay, do 20 good ones. 20 good ones. Yeah, Sean, that looks good. Yeah, you can. Yeah, they, you do it exactly the way you were doing it. And do 20 of those. Exactly, exactly. But I always want to fall down though. That's normal, right? That's part of the that's part of the exercise. So your feet will be curved, right? Sorry? So your feet must be right? Cur curve on the feet. Feet's curved. Right? Yeah, feet feet is leg is uh, bent. So our Okay, once you've done 20, we're going to go back into our deadlifts. How are you feeling, Sean? Uh, wait, so this is one, two, two. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six to 20. Let's go back into our deadlifts. Try and hammer out our 12 reps. Yeah. There you go. Nice form. Nice form. Yeah. Everybody's doing really well. How many? Twelve to fifteen. <sighs> Yeah, back into the Russian twist. Okay, why don't we take a 20 second, 30 second break? Um, again, get some water, keep yourself hydrated. We're going to do one more set of those exercises. Oh, 
Okay, guys. One more set of deadlifts, one more set of uh, Russian twists, and then we'll move on to our next set of exercises. Okay, That's now with... So with the deadlifts, very importantly, making sure that when I come up to the top, I'm actually tilting that pelvis forward a little bit and then to get that maximum glute contraction. So pelvis forward, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Okay, so let's go back into it. Guys, for this one too, make sure your toes are pointed forward. Good. Okay. Up and squeeze those glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. Sorry. I know how to like how you yeah. How do you squeeze the glutes? You just like stand up. Or yeah. yeah like how, basically, how do you do that? basically, my pelvis. What I want to do is I come up from the deadlift. I'm gonna tilt my pelvis forward yeah. excessively. So it's a very slight movement, and then you'll and then. Literally just imagine squeezing your glutes. You might not feel it a lot at first because your glutes aren't super developed yet. Oh, just, so, so basically when you like going up, like just push back a little bit, right? Yeah, at the top, you push those pelvis forward a little bit. Literally at the top, all you do is this, boom. So that's, that's a glute contraction. Very small movement though. Okay, we'll go back into our last set of Russian twists after you're done your reps. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next set of exercises, guys. Um, let me demonstrate it for you. And they're frozen. Okay, you're back. Perfect. So basically, the next set of exercises is called um, a quad squat. So we're still doing squats, except this time, what are you actually going to do? We're going to grab one weight here. You're going to have your heels together. But you're going to have your toes pointed slightly outwards. Have the dumbbell right in front of you like this. You're going to squat down until your elbows touch the knees. Come back up. Just like this. Okay. So Sean, try doing the exact same thing uh, with the resistance bands after, as the first exercise. Stepping on the resistance bands, folding it out. Okay. Try doing 15 reps. Try doing 15 reps. Okay, and then that doesn't change the fact that you need to lead with the hips. So the hips has to come out first, and then you squat down. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly, just like that. And then you're gonna do your squats in that position, perfect. 
Now try and not lean forward so much. Okay, try squatting more with the hips. Okay, I'll try. I think two bends. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alex and Tom finished. We will go into our planks. Oh no. Okay. So Alex and Tom, you're gonna hold the plank for 45 seconds. I will start the timer when you're ready. Good. Yeah. Nice job, Sean. Looks really good. Okay, make sure there's no lower back arches in your planks. Okay, keep going. You got another 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Help. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Sean, you're gonna go into your plank while they kind of take a quick break. Do you remember how to plank? Okay, and start. Okay, so Alex and Tom, you're gonna take a 30 second break and then you're gonna go right back into your, your quad squats. I'm having a question, like when you do this, I feel like a little bit like sore on the lower back though. Yeah, I can. Uh, I was actually noticing that a little bit because what's happening again, they talk about this a lot. Oh no, it's like, okay. I, I, I talk about this a lot is that you have a little lower back arch. Okay. This is what's happening. Okay. So I want you to make sure you're straightening your back, right? So suck that core in, tilt that pelvis forward. Okay. Sean, you're going to end in five, four, three, Two, one. So just keep in mind, do this when you're doing the plank. Okay. Okay, let's go back into our uh, quad squats again. Okay. Try and do 15 reps of these squats. 15 reps. Yeah, good. Yeah. Exactly, guys, exactly. How many? Fifteen. Fifteen. Good. Remember to breathe out. <sighs> Okay, now we're gonna go right back into your planks after you've done your squats. All right, 45 second plank, 45 second plank. Ready, starting in three, two, one, and go, 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 hold that plank, hold that plank. Okay, remember to suck your core in. I still see a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's better. Oh, it's going back a little bit. Okay. Keep going. You guys got another 20 seconds. Push through it, push through it, push through it. 
15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. You got it. You got it. Push your limits. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Nicely done. Nicely done. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Take a quick 30 second break and then we're going to do one more set of those exercises. Awesome, guys. Let's do one more set of each exercise, starting with our quad squats, 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 last set. Can we start now? Yeah, 15 reps. Okay, Sean, grabbing your resistance bands. We're going to go back into our squats. Same thing with this one, guys. At the top, squeeze the glutes. Okay, into your planks, 45 seconds. You feeling okay, Alex? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And three, two, one, go. Twenty more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys really quickly here. Um, Sean's plank looked pretty good. Um, I'm more concerned with like uh, Alex and Tom's plank. So I'll show you a good way to do it is like beside the mirror so you can actually see your spine alignment. So what you don't want to do is you see how my lower back is synced down like this? Oh. Okay, that, that means my core is not contracted. So you want to look in the mirror and start adjusting your spine so that it becomes in this neutral position here. So you see how I'm tilting the pelvis forward a little bit. I'm allowing my spine to kind of come up. Okay, I see. Okay, so this is how you want to hold the plank. You're going to feel this in your core a lot more rather than doing it like this. Okay? Okay. Yeah, let's do some stretches. You look tired. Okay, let's start with our leg stretches because we, we did our legs today. So sitting down on the ground, we're going to pull our feet towards our body. 
<laughs> and you know, flap your flap your knees like you're flapping butterfly wings. And you just like flap it, flap it. Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna extend one leg. Okay, try your best. Okay, just make sure you're doing these stretches every day as well. All right. Okay, and the other side. The reason why we want to stretch the legs a little bit more is just because we use our legs every day. Um, and then when we're working out, we try to go super heavy with the legs, right? And so it's important that we have it recover a little bit quicker. So you do want to stretch your legs a little bit more often than your upper body. Okay, now the next stretch is very important. This one opens up our hips, especially for guys we have really tight hips. So you're gonna sit in this position and make sure your legs are 90 degrees, 90 degrees. I wanna line up my the front. Sorry? Which leg is in the front? Uh, my, right, my right leg is in the front. Okay. And it's lined up with my right shoulder. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, yeah, so just try to kind of mirror me. Like that? Okay, let's try the other side. So you'll see, and, and it's very common as well, people will usually do this instead, right? People will usually do this instead when you're in this position, right? Then, so this is the position Tom is in as well. I want you to move those knees outwards. So you're gonna move your knees, call your knees this way, like this. Okay, another good uh, hip opener you can do as well is I get into my deep squat position heels on the ground like this. And then you're gonna kind of rock your body side to side, do a little bit of rotating. And then you're also gonna feel this hip open up a little bit more. Yeah, again, to that deep squat position. And you should be like more or less relaxed, right? So you don't wanna like have muscle it up. Just kind of let your butt down. Okay, let's stretch out the hamstrings a little bit and the glutes. So, laying on your backs, you're going to grab this knee, pull it towards your chest, and then you're going to try and extend your legs. We're now gonna stretch out the glute on the same leg. So you're going to cross your legs like this. Okay, and then you're gonna take your hands, slipping through this hole, grab this knee, pull it towards your chest. Good, now you're gonna stretch out the hamstring on the other leg. Okay, 
Okay, now you're gonna cross the leg, stretch out the glutes. Okay, we have three more stretches. We're gonna start off by stretching out the quad. I'm gonna lay on your side, grab the leg, pull it towards your butt, and then move your knee back. Move your knee back. Okay, now we're gonna switch legs. Okay, let's stretch out the abs a little bit as well. We're gonna go into our cobra pose. Pelvis on the floor, hand on the floor, push your upper body up. Keep your chest tall. And then you're just gonna try and stretch out the core a little bit. Okay, push all the way up. Try and really breathe in. Okay, guys, we're going to stretch out the hip flexors. This is our last stretch. We're going to go into our lunge position. You're going to move this front knee forward, extending this back leg. And you kind of want to just let this loosen up here, this hip flexor area. <laughs> okay, you can switch sides. Perfect, guys. Any questions for me today? No, everything. Everything's good. Nutrition, are you guys eating more? Yeah. Eating more protein, eating more everything? Yeah, but I, but I, I feel like I, my fat is going also a little bit more than before. Yeah, no, and that's exactly normal because you can't gain muscle without gaining a little bit of fat. Oh, okay, that's I what see. I said. Yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna gain. You're gonna gain some fat. So the um the concept is: Is he frozen again? He keeps freezing up. How do you feel, Sean? Yeah, but I can't hear. But I can't hear what you said. Oh. Okay. So what I was saying is the concept is we're gonna gain that muscle, gain that fat. That's the first step. Second step is retain the muscle, burn the fat. So we're gonna keep that muscle and then burn the fat away after. Okay. So right now, if I have a little bit like gain the gain the fat, is okay, right? That's right. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Okay, that's why there's a bulking stage and then the cutting stage. Okay, sure. Um, good. And so again, uh, with your protein, I went to the store today. Yeah. And then I was asking them about it. They said it's gonna take about two weeks for the application to kind of go through. Okay, sure. So do you want do you want do you want to wait two weeks or do you kind of want to want just want to just order the protein? Uh, may I know how how discount is that? Because like I I may I, I may ask in the group because maybe they like really need the protein, but for me it's okay because we have the protein at home, right? 
Yeah, but the smaller one, what the difference will be? It'll probably be around 15%. So fifteen percent for each up. Uh, yeah. Protein. Yeah. yeah. But it wouldn't be Amway protein. It would be a. It would be a different type of. Protein. So fifteen percent off, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I see. So for for which protein, it, it will be fifteen percent off. Um, it would be either. Uh, there's a few different brands I can send you. It's called, there's one called Magnum Quattro. Uh, there's one what about our first, like the XS? XS, the XS would be a different because there would be different companies. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, what you, about this? I will just, I will just gathering the information for them and see which brand they want and I can show you. And if you see if they have discount maybe after two weeks, I can talk to them. If they are the same price, I can just go order right away. Does that sounds good? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because it all depends, right? So I will just gather the information and see how many people want to buy what. So I will just um, maybe send to you and you can see whether or not yeah, that sounds good. Awesome, guys. Sean's feeling good. Yeah, you can just continue with Sean. Yeah. Okay. Sean, do you have any feedback for me at all? Uh, no, everything's all right. Everything's all right. good. Okay, feeling good. Yeah, I have a question, like, uh, like, a, like, a, maybe a, some problem with other classes. Yeah. So basically, like the like, especially for the seven to eight p.m. like that that class. Yeah. They were said like they maybe sometimes like because I I heard like you working a lot for the apps, right? right. For this class. Yeah. Yeah, and they feel like they sometimes they maybe feel really sore on the neck or something or the back. So I'm just wondering. So Sharon suggests maybe do some other, like maybe more about like more uh, kind of like workout not only on the apps sure yeah because they because a lot of moms they, they were like feeling like they, they know they they, they want to like lose uh, lose the fat on the stomachache but they feel like when they're doing that that kind of like exercise they always feel like really sore on the neck and really sore on the other part because i think the other part still need to be trained because they are really weak on those so Sharon just said maybe working on more like some other part rather than just only focus on the apps. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Thank you for your wanna, feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Good work okay. today, guys. Oh, Alex, your arm's getting big. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Thank you. Bye. Bye Thank now. you. Thank you. Bye -bye.